Hi, this is Mike Schwartz, the founder and CEO of Blue. In the next three minutes, I'm going to tell you why RSA tokens are overrated. Now, you've probably seen these RSA tokens. I, I don't have one handy, but they generally are a little little doodad key fob that you 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 carry around, and it, it's always every every couple of seconds it changes the number. And um, when you when you go to a website to log in, instead of putting your password. You put in generally a four-digit PIN number plus that number, and the RSA ACE server um, is able to n know what token you are issued and do some crypto magic and make sure that that number um, and, and the time that you logged in um, authenticates you. So it's it's certainly a better mechanism to authenticate a person than a password. But wh why why is that um, overrated? Well. The truth of the matter is, is that in the last couple of years, we, there a number of authentication mechanisms have been invented that are a easier for the user, um, b easier for the organization to administrate, and c uh, arguably even more secure. So, w one of the problems with RSA tokens right off the bat is that it has a battery in it. Ever, it's a three-year battery which means that it has a built-in 33% annual replacement cost. Um, number two, R RSA tokens um, have a very high enrollment cost, which means that in order to get an RSA token to a person, we have to register that token with a person, usually an administrator does that, and then ship the token, normally via FedEx. So this, this takes a, a, a couple of days and, and in that time, no, a lot of times the, the, the new employee or consultant is not able to access resources or really get work done. So it's, it's lost productivity. And, and B, the enrollment cost is just high. Um, so a lot of times it involves FedEx. So wh what we found is that o over the years, there have been a number of um, better authentication mechanisms invented that offer equal or better security um, lower price and better usability by the user. Actually, having the user, you know, look at his RSA token number and type it in is not that great for the user either. Some some of these authentication mechanisms lever leverage mobile devices. So you're already carrying around your mobile phone. Why not use that as the authentication factor? And also. It's even some of the hard tokens, if you want to keep the security model of something that you have, like a key, which is a very old and tried and true security model, uh, having something that's a little bit less delicate and doesn't have a battery, for example, the YubiKey that you see flashing up there, um, could be better choice for your organization. Some organizations also prefer soft tokens, where a, a program is downloaded to your PC or Mac, and um, that generates the code versus a, a hard token. And, and soft tokens are easier to ship um, than having to, to ship a physical device. And they offer very many of the same security advantages. So net-net, if you're looking to offer strong authentication, which is a really good thing, I would say that we're in the year 2013. There are better ways than RSA tokens, which are net-net overrated.